العلم للعرب قناتك الوثائقية الجهاز المناعي The main function of the immune system is to prevent the development of disease caused by infection. Infections can be caused by a wide variety of pathogens, including bacteria, fungi, parasites such as malaria, and viruses including influenza and the common cold. The immune system comprises a network of cells and immune tissues that work together to prevent the development of disease. All parts of the body that interface with the environment, such as the lungs, the digestive tract, and the skin, have to be prepared to protect the body from infection. Normally, the skin acts as a barrier to prevent pathogens from entering the body. Let's say, for example, you scrape your leg. The barrier, your skin, is now compromised, and pathogens such as bacteria, which are present on your skin or, or in the environment, are now able to enter your cut. Luckily for you, there is an army of immune cells in your leg waiting for this very moment. These immune cells, called macrophages, are able to recognize the bacteria as a potential threat based on molecules the bacteria express on their cell surface. Once the macrophages recognize the bacteria, they can then go on to destroy it by eating it. This is a process known as phagocytosis. At the same time, the macrophages produce molecules called cytokines and chemokines that alert the rest of the immune system to the presence of the invader. Different immune cells, called neutrophils, are recruited to your leg, and with the macrophages, they help to destroy the bacteria. Both macrophages and neutrophils are part of the so-called innate immune system, and these cells are part of the first line of defense against invading pathogens. If the bacteria cannot be controlled by members of the innate system, then more specialized immune cells, called lymphocytes, will be recruited to your leg. Lymphocytes include T cells and B cells. They work together to produce molecules, including antibodies, which help to clear the infection. T and B cells are members of the so-called adaptive immune system. Once these cells get activated, they are able to remember an infection so that next time the same bacteria enters the body, it can be destroyed more rapidly. Due to your innate immune system and your adaptive immune system working together, the bacteria can be cleared from the cut in your leg. Your immune system has successfully prevented the development of disease. There's still much that we do not understand about how the immune system functions. Scientists are doing research to understand this more precisely, and this knowledge can be used, for example, in the development of new and better vaccines.